Two of the top teams, not only in Central Kentucky, but the entire Bluegrass State are set to tip it off tonight. It's 8th Region Power Anderson County versus 11th Region Power Franklin County, now on the Game of the Week. Last season, both Anderson County and Franklin County reached their goal, achieved that goal, and made the state tournament. Anderson County won the 8th region and faced Franklin County in the state tournament at Rupp Arena, knocked off the 11th region champion Lady Flyers by three points to advance. Unfortunately, that was the last game of the season for both teams as the COVID-19 pandemic ended the season there after the first round of the state tournament. Tonight, they're going to tip it off again to see who might be the best team, not only in Central Kentucky, but one of the top teams in the entire state. Welcome into the game of the week. I'm Glenn Waldrop, and uh, it's been an obvious crazy year with the pandemic, and uh, a lot of safety protocols are in place, and we're doing our part here at FPV and with the Franklin County School System. I'm actually calling the game from home. I am not in the Franklin County Gymnasium. This is something new for me. It's something new for the crew. It's something new for all of you. But hey, 2020 taught us uh, something. We have to adapt. 2021, we're taking it to the next level. So we're glad you've joined us. We're excited to bring you this matchup. These two teams are outstanding basketball teams. When you look at Franklin County, they come in here 3-0. They really haven't been challenged. Uh, Brooklyn Miles, the uh, Tennessee University of Tennessee commit, is outstanding. One, it may be the candidate, uh, leading candidate for Miss Basketball. She does it all. She's tenacious defensively. She can score the ball. And we know what Joey Thacker can do. He's been to four state tournaments in the last few years. Uh, this team is ready to fly this year and get back to that state tournament. They want to avenge a loss in that, in that Sweet 16 to play Bird Whistle's Anderson County team. The, this team coming in this year, four, all of their wins are blowouts, 50 and 60 point victories. Their closest win was over Owen County, another top team in the eighth region. They won that one by 12. So Anderson County is a great team. Franklin County just keeps on keeping on. Joey Thacker has built a powerhouse, and tonight they will be tested. Both teams maybe like they haven't been all year and maybe won't be since or, or into the future till we get to the 11th region. So uh, thank you to the Franklin Plant Board. David Columbia and the crew are doing a great job to bring you this action. You can see the gym is socially distancing. We're doing it uh, something different, but we're glad to do it. This should be one of the best matchups in the entire state in the regular season all year. And you get to watch it live on Facebook, live on Cable 10. We can't wait to bring it to you. Tip-off is coming up in just a few moments from Franklin County. Here at David Tolls Auto Pro, we know if people are driving right now, it's only for the most important reasons. And if their car breaks down, we need to get it back on the road. At Auto Pro, we want you to rest assured that we're doing everything in our power to keep you safe. We follow all recommended COVID-related safety guidelines when handling your vehicle. Our lobby and facilities are completely clean and sanitized every night, and we have touchless credit card processing. We appreciate your trust in these difficult times, and we want to thank you for shopping local. If you have to take it to somebody, you can take it to us. David Tolls Auto Pro. Game of the Week is sponsored by David Tolls Auto Pro. David Tolls Auto Pro is open regular business hours and is dedicated to keeping you safe and back on the road with contact-free drop-off. Pickup and delivery is also available. Disinfecting nightly all areas. Following all safety precautions. Vehicle sanitizing service also available. Call 502-352-2988 or 502-352-2205. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and Franklin County High School, along with the Kentucky Department for Public Health, thank you for your proactive efforts to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. As a reminder for tonight's event, all in attendance must do the following. You must wear a mask with your nose and mouth covered at all times. You must practice social distancing with those who do not reside in your household, and you must cough or sneeze into a tissue or your arm and wash your hands thoroughly. Thank you for
for your cooperation and remember, together we play. Also, fans should exit through the doors on the home side of the gymnasium into the foyer when exiting the restroom. Do not use the doors on the visitor side of the gym. At the conclusion of the game tonight, fans must exit the building through the two sets of doors at the back side of the gymnasium closest to the football stadium. Do not exit through the foyer following the game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Franklin County High School and to tonight's basketball action between the Anderson County Lady Bearcats and your Franklin County Lady Flyers. At this time, would you please rise to the playing of our national anthem? be what we hoped it would be it might not be what we expected but we're getting to play basketball and we're excited about it we're glad to bring it to you here Anderson County looking for starting lineup uh, Sophie Smith number two can really run the show you see a double zero there JC Chesser outstanding player uh, Amaya Jenkins there keep an eye on her top five programs are already coming after her she is an outstanding player uh, and you round it out with Tiffany Riley and uh, Rachel Satterley uh, this Anderson County team is really good. They lost some talent off last year's Sweet 16 team, but they um, are reloading. And Joey Thacker knows that Franklin County has their hands full tonight with, an, with a really good basketball team from just up the road in Lawrenceburg. Um, Franklin County comes in here. Uh, we, you hear so much about Brooklyn Miles, and it's all the hype is well-deserved. She is as good a high school player as I've seen in my years covering. Um, in certain facets of the game. Obviously, she's got some proven areas as she goes on to the SEC at one of the all-time powers in Tennessee. But when you talk about quickness and you talk about tenacity defensively and attacking the basketball offensively, the basket, she is uh, she's just quite fascinating to watch, and she's going to be uh, really fun tonight. Uh, Nevette Carter uh, is a great compliment there, also a very athletic backcourt member. Uh, Shavi Kennedy has been a nice addition here. Uh, these three guards can really play. Keeping on this young lady, one that's new to us, um, Javen Mead, six foot four, can really play only a sophomore, and in somebody who seems like she's been around forever, still an underclassman, and, and Patience Laster, uh, a double double machine. And then there is Miles, who uh, is the front runner probably for Miss Basketball in this state of Kentucky, a basketball craze state. You know what it means if you are uh, thought after in that, that highly as being a candidate for Mr. and Miss Basketball, and she is at, uh, at the top, if not at the very top, the near top of every list uh, for the folks in the state. Um, as we get set to go here, both teams, we said 3-0. and Franklin County has been challenged a bit by Southwestern. It was a close game. They Actually, I think the most impressive win was a, a, a comfortable victory over Scott County. I mentioned this Anderson County team. The closest game they had was a 12-point victory over Owen County, a team who's probably the number two team in the eighth region right now, rankings behind Anderson County. Uh, 50 and 60-point victories other than that. So Anderson County is locked and loaded. 
Franklin County's ready to go. 2021, uh, let's get let's tip off some hoops. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And you may notice a change in protocol because of COVID as Joey Thacker's looking on. Uh, no jump ball, uh, which to me is fascinating. They're going to be guarding each other all night, but they don't want them uh, facing off in the center circle. But uh, at any rate, we're underway. Carter with the basketball gets it out to last year, and she'll bring it out to Miles. Matchup zone, it looks like here for Anderson County. Down low, the shot is nicked by me. And the Lady Bearcats control. Nice entry pass there, and working it around, and the Lady Bearcats will swing it around now. And now going back to get the ball is Rachel Saturday, number 10. Gets away there to Smith. Miles hound, hounding the ball out front. Smith gets it to the basket and draws the foul. That's on Carter. That'll be her first. Team's first as we're just underway. A nice left hand to take the scoop shot. Didn't fall with the right hand, but it will send Saturday to, or excuse me, Sophie Smith to the line. I apologize. And she makes the first. So two nothing lead early on for the Lady Bearcats. Got some other games coming your way this week. Franklin County, Western Hill, or excuse me, Franklin High, Western Hills boys will be Friday, and then we'll crank it back up the doubleheader next week on Tuesday. So keep it on Cable 10 for all your local action. Meet around to Miles. Miles working, gets the shot off the rim, no good. Meade had it, lost it. Is it going to be over the back or is it going to be on double zero? Chesser backing into Meade, and that's who's going to get the whistle is Chesser. And it looks like to me an interesting matchup. They've got um, Jenkins guarding Brooke and Miles. Jenkins, one of the top members of the class of 2022. Uh, a little bit of a height advantage against Brooklyn. Brooklyn with the speed advantage. We'll see how that one works out in the inbounds. Nobody guards Carter, and she hits the triple to get Franklin County the lead 3 2. And a good take right there. And we talked about it, and Joey Thacker we talked earlier today in his. Uh, assessment of this Anderson County team said she is the real deal. One of the top players, Power Five Conference is already after, and he thinks some of the biggest ones are going to come knocking on the door there in Lawrenceburg for uh, the services of one Amaya Jenkins. Overplaying the ball there to Miles, and luckily not turned over by Kennedy. And then that is going to be a kickball, or maybe Franklin County, but. Uh, that matchup's one to watch. The the two D1 prospects, if you will, the two biggest D1 prospects in, in Miles and Jenkins, and Jenkins drawing the assignment and working hard very early, but could that lead to maybe some fatigue and or foul trouble as she tries to face guard Miles all night? And if Carter keeps doing that, they're not going to be able to face guard Brooklyn Miles. Second three of the night attempted by Carter. The second one falls, and it's 6-4. Lady Flyers. Nice spin move, shot up, no good, but a foul as Chester was maneuvering in the paint. And the familiar coaching style of one Joey Thacker. As Chester knocks down the first free throw. Spins it a few times and now rattles that one home. You see there are no fans in the lower part of the arena. The players spread out on the bench. That's uh, part of the COVID protocol as Miles goes to the basket, draws the foul. But you're going to see that and in, in the fans on the other side that are in the building are spread out. Um, very similar to what you may have seen when you're watching Kentucky, Louisville, Western, whomever it may be. Uh, everyone doing the best they can through these difficult times to, to allow basketball to get played. And we certainly appreciate everyone doing their part um, to get these student athletes on the floor. 
so many student athletes missed the opportunity in 2020 in the spring and there was such a fear in the fall and the KHSAA along with the local school districts throughout the Commonwealth have really done a nice job of, of doing what they can to get a product on the field. Of course it worked out, or in this case on the court, it worked out so well for Franklin County football getting to the state finals. And, um, it, you just, you know, that experience not being taken away from them is something that uh, everyone's thankful for. Nice entry pass basket up and in by Jenkins. So it gives the lead at 8 7 to Anderson County. You saw Jasmine Chambers come in the game out the break there, number 15 for the Lady Flyers. Good take, but shot blocked there as Carter was trying to get to the rim and now pushing it up on the break. Nice fake for Anderson County. Shot no good. Rebound up and rattled in. That was a nice job chasing the basketball down there by Chesser to get the rebound. So I believe that was Riley who got the steal and took it down. Little shot missed. Anderson looking to push it again. All the way to the rim. Miles rips it out of there. But that's going to be a reach in. It may have been Carter on the floor. If not, it was Brooklyn Miles. And not being in the arena. We're just going to have to see who looks like the guilty party right now until we get a, something official. Looks like it was on Carter number five. Inbound, three-point shot up short by Smith on the battle for the rebound. That's going to be a foul on Jenkins. Here's another look at that reach in right there. And I think they called the bump on Carter before the reach in by Miles, it appeared. 10-7, Lady Bearcats on top here. About halfway through the first quarter. Meade skips it out, Miles on the bounce to the rim, draws the foul, and that is two on Jenkins. And uh, as discussed a few moments ago, she does a great job on her, but you need her offense and drawing the assignment on Miles now picks up her second foul. And we're uh, just at the halfway point of the first quarter. Miles to trigger the inbound, and good defense here from Anderson County. Last year finally gets it out to Carter, and the Lady Flyers will set their offense. And that was a pass that was in close quarters and just too hot to handle, but off the hand of Meads to turn over Franklin County. Smith on the bounce. Maybe got away with a little hop travel there instead. Entry pass to Chester who had it knocked away. Now to the floor. Both teams battling and that's going to be a jump ball. Good effort from both teams. Patience last year there got on the floor along with Chester. Looks like maybe Miles on the floor as well. Substitution for Anderson County as Paige Serafini enters the game. And that was actually on the floor there hustling in was Kennedy of Franklin County. She had last year hustling there. No one guards the inbound, and Smith with it now, round, and that will be the three-point attempt that's knocked down by Jenkins. So Jenkins now with seven points. He was a six-point advantage for Anderson County. Miles took that on the take. That was Chambers, who uh, could not finish at the rim. An ice-cold shooting here early on for the Lady Flyers. Entry pass, Chester in the paint. Shot up, no good. Laster affected that shot, then gets the rebound. Pushed up quickly, nice pass ahead. Chambers has it knocked away, but it's foul. It's a good effort there from Laster on the defense. Clears the glass, gets it to Miles, who looks ahead to the streaking. Jasmine Chambers and draws the foul. Smith gets the personal there, and Jasmine Chambers will go to the line to shoot two. And the cold shooting continues, not only from the field goal percentage perspective, but now from the line. Riley back in the game for the Lady Bearcats. Chambers hits the second of two. Makes it a five-point game. Three minutes remaining and counting in your first quarter here. 
a game that a lot of people throughout the state have circled since the schedule came out and want to take a look. The favorite in the 8th region, Anderson County. The favorite in the 11th region, Franklin County. And that's going to be an AM-1 is getting to the rim, drawing a foul, and getting a bucket is Rachel Satterley. Around Chambers, there's the reach in by Carter. And a seven point advantage, looking to make it eight. And the Lady Flyers out of sync a bit. Amelia Wells into the game for the Lady Flyers. Maybe Thacker trying to mix it up a bit, get some kind of offense going. Free throw missed. Chased down by Laster. Chambers in the corner had some trouble, gets it back out to Miles. In the corner, three ball up, no good. Off the iron there from Kennedy. And now we've got a whistle, and it's going to be a alternate possession going to Franklin County. Stay on the floor. Welcome everybody joining us live on Facebook and of course on Cable 10. Nice entry pass and last year with the finish. Credit the assist there to Wells, a nice look. Kind of a tough angle from the wing there. It's not, it's more like a, from the corner. The three there, no good. There's a rebound by Jenkins, back out, swinging it around. And now the three attempts off the back iron. Good box out there on the miss by Satterley. All white jerseys there for that rebound. Two, three zone from Anderson County. Miles surveys, gets a look. Now they'll start working around. Nice entry pass, but just off the hand of Laster. And I think that was one that needed maybe a touch more air, but a really good look from Miles. Chester back in. She has worked very well in the low post. And gets the entry pass there on the break and knocks it in. And Anderson County executing very well, passing the ball extremely well, very unselfish bunch, and uh, proving it with the seven-point advantage. Wells, nice pass in the last one. Her shot up, no good. Battle for it, and it went out of bounds, I think, off of Wells and Franklin County. It will go to the Lady Bearcats. Miles going to try to pressure the ball now, and Smith breaks through it easily. And entry pass again, high post to mid post, turn around, rolls in for Chester. The spacing of Anderson County's offense really allowing them to get great shots inside. And right now, Franklin County, no answer for the offense of Anderson County, and quite frankly, the offense of Franklin County is struggling. Nice pass, down low, Laster with the finish, assist. Two miles. Pull up, Jenkins, three ball. Anderson County is shooting the lights out. 10 point lead, 20 seconds left, first quarter. I pose nearly a foul, and it is a foul. It's gonna be a reach in there on Sarah Feeney of Anderson County. Miles triggers the inbound. Kennedy with it out of the corner. Short. Jenkins with the rebound and it's tripped up and that's on Brooklyn Miles. That was one of those that was unfortunate. There wasn't an attempt at a steal or a foul. They just kind of tangled legs and Miles picks up the personal. Working around, they try to get the last shot. Step back, three, in and out. 
The first quarter is in the books, and uh, Franklin County looks like they're a little shocked right now. Anderson County made the trip down 127 to the connector and down Versailles Road, and when they pulled on the Georgetown Road, they meant business. They're leading 22-12. We're at the break first quarter. It's a little different, but we're glad you're here. Hello, my name is Greg with the State Tree Service, the name you know and trust. Over the past 60 years, the State Tree Service has become a name people know and trust in Central Kentucky. From tree removal, pruning, and stump grinding to debris cleanup, we are always available with our 24-7 emergency services. A Safe Tree Service is licensed and insured, and our mission is to provide safe, quality tree care at a fair rate. Give us a call at 502-229-5258 or go online for a free quote. Well, as you heard the governor say many times, we're all in this together, and tonight we're all in this together. We're, uh, I'm, I'm at home, the, the crew's working and social distancing, and Franklin County right now, unfortunately, has been social distancing a little too much from Anderson County. The Lady Bearcats are spreading the floor and just working their offense and have uh, shot themselves out to a big lead here through the first eight minutes. But uh, if there's anything we've learned from the Joey Packer Coach Lady Flyers over the years, they can hit you in spurts. And uh, don't be surprised to see a run here after some adjustments maybe through the first eight minutes. Anderson County up by 10, underway, and just like that, a turnover. Chambers up with it, and now Miles will jog it up across the half-court circle. Gives it away to her teammate Wells, and now Lady Flyers will get into their offense. 2-3 zone from Anderson County. Bad pass there, stolen away, and that was an easy one. All the way down for the lay-in for Jenkins. Missed it, and then it went off the leg of, um, that was, I believe, Kennedy, and that is out of bounds back to Anderson County. So a missed opportunity for the Lady Bearcats, but they get the uh, unforced error, and then right back, another steal by Chambers. Two plays in a row on the defensive end, she comes up with the loose ball. Miles with it. Gives it up to Meade, and maybe in a situation there that Brooklyn a little too unselfish, she had worked her way into the lane and I think had a little opportunity to throw up a shot and uh, just gave it to Meade and went out of bounds off the Lady Bearcats. Changing it up now as Meade will trigger the inbound on the baseline. And just threw that one away. Franklin County a little out of sync. Chambers will go get a rest as back into the game. Step back, Jenkins. Off the mark, but you can see with her game while major conference teams love her so athletic and they're strong to the basket gets the and one and a lot of game from that young lady a lot of people think that uh, Maya Jenkins might be the best player in the entire class 2022 as a junior and um, right now she's She's proving that uh, their assessment is not off. She is playing extremely well. 13 points already. And the lead is 13, biggest of the night. Blaster in traffic, and I think it's gonna get bailed out on a foul against Chesser. As Laster was spinning and really had nowhere to go, and, and Chesser is in a state of disbelief right now. See where Laster's Got away maybe with a travel before she tripped, and, and that's an unfortunate situation. We talked about it earlier with Miles and her being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the trip. That's exactly what happened there with Chester. Inbound, Blaster, can't get it to fall. Second opportunity, no good. Meade battles, but controlled by Anderson County. And here come the Lady Bearcats up quickly. Three ball, no good. Now Miles will look to push it. Nice bounce pass ahead. Laster had it, lost it, but was fouled. And I believe the foul was the foul on Smith. Right. Nope, they're going to give it to 24 for Anderson County. Tiffany Wright. Patience Laster will go the line to shoot two. Averaging just under 10 points per contest. 
You know, if we've learned anything over the years, you can almost guarantee she's right at a double-double every night in points and rebounds. This is there. Up quickly, Anderson County. Nice little hesitation. Shot up blocked by last year, but a foul. And I like that control take by Sophie Smith. Right hand bounce, went hard early and then slowed down just a bit. And then one more acceleration and causes the foul. And it looks like they gave the foul to Mead instead of Laster. Anderson County in the bonus now for the remaining 6-16. Free throw rims out. And that's there. Looks like we got a lot of eyeballs watching the game uh, from folks that are rooting on the Anderson County Bearcats. We appreciate y'all being a part of our stream on Facebook. Of course, a lot of fans throughout the whole community following Franklin County. Glad everybody's tuned in. Hope you're having a healthy and happy, safe early part of 2021. Meade tried to pass it down low. Jenkins stole it away. Now skip pass, three-point attempt. Knocked down, good ball movement there as Serafini hits the triple. And it is a clinic right now from Anderson County, up 16 with 545 left in the first half. Knocked away again. Jenkins is going to push it. Nice step back, triple. Doesn't get the roll. Chester battling, nice job down there on the floor from Anderson County, excuse me, Franklin County's Amelia Wells. And um, it's gonna take effort like that. We're gonna get a couple of new so We've seen Chambers in the game. And I've got, this, uh, I believe 11 is starts for Franklin County inbound spinning, shooting and missing there with Chester. Now to the floor, that would be a jump ball. We've got a roster change. So I think that is Elijah Starks, that is number 11. I had a 14, apologize if you didn't have that. Good take by Miles, but it just won't roll over the front end. Brooklyn struggling, Franklin County struggling, and Anderson County just keeps on doing what they do. But good, there's, the, there's what happens, and then there's a timeout, and Clay Bird Whistle could see it coming, and he got the timeout just before the steal as Brooklyn Miles was harassing Jason Chesser, and it leads to the timeout. Anderson County has a, everything going away right now, up 16, 506 left, first half. The Family Dental Center is open and serving Frankfurt's patients in a safe working environment, following all CDC recommended safety guidelines. You can save 15% on implants today by taking part in the Dental Implant Contribution Plan to help make your care as affordable as possible. Visit tv.frankfurtimplants.com for more information. If you have any questions, call 502-829-7541. Family Dental Center, here to serve you. If you're at home and uh, maybe you're sitting back in your favorite easy chair and having something to eat or drink and watching the game. Thank you so much for sharing the early part of 2021 with us. And I'm doing the same thing. I am in my easy chair at home, sitting in front of the uh, computer here via Zoom. And again, thank you to uh, David Columbia, the entire FPB crew. Uh, you know, All of them worked so hard to bring you um, opportunities to watch the student athletes uh, compete during these crazy times. And you know, Kathy Lindsay, Scott Stafford, everybody that's uh, making this happen, we appreciate it all the crew getting it done. And um, that, that's why this crew is saw as like some of the best around, uh, not just uh, in Central Kentucky, just like these two teams, our crew's top notch. Chambers on the take, and man, it, there is just uh, a little gremlin on top of the rim swatting the ball off of there against Franklin County. They can't buy a bucket right now. 29-13. Chambers trying to pressure the ball now. A nice job by Smith, just keeping her dribble, spinning. Kind of a wild shot up, no good. Starks weak side rebound, pushes it out. Now Miles will try to get something going, two on three. To the rim, and one. 
Nope, they're gonna wave it off and say it was on the floor. So scratch that, basket no good, foul on the floor before the shot. With the Miles towing the stripe. It'll be a lady ball. We saw her just explode onto the scene. That first Franklin County team to make a state tournament. And uh, I believe she was only a seventh grader and just was not scared of the moment. And uh, she's been taking over games ever since. Nice pass inside, and Miles may get whistled for the foul there. That's going to be an and one. And the best player on the court tonight, right now, is that young lady. Maya Jenkins has dominated this contest. And Miles will come out of the game, and, and again, I am at home. I, I don't have the luxury of hearing exactly what's going on as far as and I can't see the officials when they go, you know, give the number of who got the foul, but I think that was on Brooklyn Miles, and if it was, that may be her third. Jenna Satterley steps into the game for Anderson County, and this contest is getting away from Joey Thacker's Lady Flyers, 32-13. Wells on the take but the basket will not count. The foul was before the shot on the floor. And you just don't see Franklin County getting situations like this very often, at least over the last 10 years, um, where a team is just sort of taking it right at them. And um, I'm sure Joey Thacker's gonna try to figure out a way to try to cut it down and inside maybe 15, get it down to hopefully 10 before the break and then make some adjustments because this has been a clinic. Pass ahead, Chester spinning. Shooting but traveled before the shot. Chester really has played well. We've talked about Jenkins, but Chester has been outstanding down low. Another turnover. Jenkins to the rim. Couldn't finish, but hustling to get her own rebound. Three ball, bottom. Goodness gracious, this team is just hitting on all cylinders. And another steal in the backcourt. Chambers tries to put in the rebound and it's fouled. Thirty-five, thirteen, Lady Bearcats. Free throw, no good. Laney Johnson in the game there for Franklin County. Rebound starts. It's no good. And the Lady Flyers offensive woes continue. All the way to the rim, wild shot up and in. I'm trying to get a look as to who that was. I believe that was Jenna Satterley, but Whomever it was, the, they just got it going right now. Laster, high post, over the chamber. She'll take the three. No good. And if you're just tuning in, don't adjust. Our numbers are right. Anderson County is dominating right now, and maybe that's going to do something to get things changed up for Franklin County as Jasmine Chambers got the steal on the bucket and that's the first field goal of the quarter for Franklin County. And that's gonna be a charge, absolutely. And I think that may be three on Jenkins. So we've already got Brooklyn Miles out of the game with three fouls. We think we'll try to get some stats for you as we, if we can. 
at the half. Um, but it's just been um, a, a really, really dominant performance through this first 14 minutes and change of this first half. Bad pass, turnover. Nice ball movement again. I believe that shot was blocked by last year, but I really like what Clay Burbwistle was doing with his offense. The spacing of this Anderson County squad is as good as I've seen at the high school level. And they just spread the, spread the floor, share the ball, and knock down shots. It's been a clinic. Ball stolen away. Anderson pushing it up. That's going to be a charge, I believe. Dropping the shoulder there with Laney Johnson. There's another look at it in the replay, and you can see just a nice job by Amelia Wells to hold her position, draw the foul. Hey, Bird Whistle doesn't like it, but hey, when you're up 37 15 over Franklin County, you can still smile. That shows you what kind of night he's having. He doesn't like the call and is, and is smiling away. This zone is really bothering Franklin County and that's gonna be a travel on Wells. So when Franklin County has not turned it over, they just haven't been able to execute and make shots. And um, really kind of a shocking turn of events. We expected this one to be very close and at about the four minute mark of the first quarter, Anderson County started to pull away, led 22-12. You can see now one field goal this entire quarter for the Lady Flyers. Anderson County very patient. Wide open three, didn't take it. Just running their offense with the lead, running down the clock. Down to the cutter who traveled. Yes, she did travel before she could put the ball on the floor. So uh, defensively, so many times when a team runs that much clock, you'll have a breakdown. Franklin County there, even with some um, non-starters in the game, they hunkered down, played defense, and uh, didn't allow an easy bucket. Final five seconds. Blaster to the rim. It will count, I think. Did, we get a, did the official make a sign if it was good or not? We're waiting to find out if they called it good or not. But we're at the break. We'll step away, come back in just a few moments. It is a shocker right now to the top teams in the state and Anderson County saying, hey, we got you in the state tournament last year. We're going to try to get you again on your home floor as we'll come back to the game of the week in just a moment from Franklin County High School. Game of the Week is brought to you by Estate Tree Service. We have a solution for all your tree care needs. Estate Tree Service provides expert tree care and preservation. Call 502-229-5258 for a free estimate. Also by Raymond James. Since 1996, Tom Curran and Raymond James have been committed to helping our community achieve their financial goals and needs. Raymond James, life well planned. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Game of the Week is brought to you by Family Dental Center, serving Frankfurt for over 30 years with over 100 years of experience. Call us today for your next appointment at 791-8950. Family Dental Center, let us make you smile. I would say welcome back into Franklin County High School. We're looking inside Franklin County High School, but if I were welcoming you in, I would say welcome to my living room because that's where I'm calling the game from. Glenn Waterp here with you on the uh, Game of the Week, Cable 10. And uh, if you're on Facebook, you're in your house, just like me. 
right now. But uh, I'm so glad to be able to bring it to you. Got a good one going. And if you're an Anderson County fan, I've been following some of the folks on Facebook. Lady Bearcats fans are feeling it right now. 37-13, they have just come out and, and quite frankly out-executed Franklin County in every facet of the game. Uh, impressive. And, and we knew both of these teams were good. Uh, from the get-go, and you know, all the talking about Brooklyn Miles and Amalia, uh, excuse me, um, Amalia Jennings, and uh, it came out, and Nevada Carter hit two threes quickly for Franklin County. I thought, okay, that's going to spread the floor and give Franklin County some opportunities for the last year down low. One or two of them did, but then after that, it really became all Anderson County. And we talked about the matchup, and Jenkins has just been phenomenal. Chambers, good minutes there for Franklin County, but uh, it has been really all Anderson County in this one. You know Joey Thacker's a prideful man. You know he doesn't like what he saw, and he's going to try to make some adjustments. Uh, you can see there we've got about 7.55 left of the half. Will we continue to stream? Don't go anywhere. It is the game of the week on Cable 10 on Facebook. Glad you've joined us. Don't go anywhere. We'll have your second half, and I expect a run from the Lady Flyers in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Since our beginning, our business has been people and their financial well-being. It's evident in good times with decisions focused on the long term and crucial when circumstances become difficult. That continued emphasis on people, our advisors, associates, clients, and communities gives us purpose, strength, and a way forward today and always. Thirty-seven fifteen is the score, and Franklin County just now coming out of the locker room. Uh, having been in Joey Thacker's locker rooms over the years, um, I'm sure that was a pretty one-sided conversation that he was having with the Lady Flyers, as they're just going to come out and get just a couple of shots up as he took the entire break uh, to, um, I'm sure, challenge his Lady Flyers to see if they can come out and get some things done. Um, and I expect a, a turnaround from Franklin County, but uh, you got credit. Use with uh, technology here, but uh, hey, what's new? It's 2021, but this all started in 2020. We all know. Um, as we've had Zoom calls and, and meetings and schoolwork online and, and all the different craziness that this pandemic has brought us, uh, we'll figure out a way to get through it. It might not be perfect, but we're gonna, we're gonna get after it anyway. Franklin County will come back out on the floor. Brooklyn Miles, one point in the first half. And uh, you, know, you might see a completely different player here in this a second 16 minutes. As we are back at it here with Anderson County with the lead and just like that, they attack the rim and get a bucket right off the bat as this, uh, this young lady Jenkins is putting on a clink up a great entry pass there, but now she has 18 already in the contest for Anderson County. Hey, it's Carter. She hit two threes early in the contest. That one won't fall. And uh, if there's one thing, and we've talked a lot about what Anderson County is doing great. They are they're spreading the floor. They're sharing the basketball. They're executing. They're knocking down shots. They're turning over Franklin County. But the other thing is that Franklin County, when open, they have just not been able to make shots. Really, really struggling shooting the ball. There's a steal. That's good. That'll be a foul. Excuse me, as that was a really nice job by Kennedy to uh, get the rip. The foul is going to be on Sophie Smith, and that's how I think you'll see Franklin County get back in this game is for them to turn it up defensively and turn over Anderson County and try to make this track meet because uh, Brooklyn Miles uh, can can win a lot of track meets if you can just get her going. On the bounce, pull up. And again, just rimming out there. She's got a feel for these uh, Lady Flyers as Kennedy had another one just wouldn't fall. And then on the battle for the rebound, I think we had an Anderson County foul there. 
he did, so Franklin County will inbound. Last year around the miles and the Lady Flyers will set their offense. Walling off Brooklyn Miles, Franklin County is, excuse me, Anderson County's done a great job keeping her from the paint. And there after the rip, it'll push it up and nearly lost in the backcourt, but controlled as Satterley will bring it up. Smith, down low and out quickly out to the high post, three-pointer off the mark. That's the high post. Chester actually snuck out behind the three-point line there, and she has done a lot of good work in the paint. Long two-point shot knocked down by Carter. She now has eight to lead Franklin County. The lead is 22. Take no good. Rebound Meade. Here comes Miles pushing it. One on two to the rim. Gets the bucket. Nice take from Brooklyn Miles. Her first field goal comes at the 544 mark of the third quarter. Ball knocked away, but right into the hands of Chester, who then traveled. And if, if folks are watching, you can get a scouting report. Chester, very good with her back to the basket, but she likes to spin. She, a lot of times she just won't take it and drop, step, and go. She wants to do a little spin move. And uh, occasionally she'll uh, not keep a pivot foot. That's what happened right there, the turnover. And now Franklin County with a little momentum. Still down 20, but you just get the feeling they're trying to get back in it. Good take from Carter, but just couldn't finish at the rim. Miles went for the steal, didn't get it. Numbers for the Lady Bearcats. Smith thought about the three, didn't take it. Instead, down low, Chester, left hand, bucket up and good. And we're going to get a 30-second timeout as this Anderson County team just keeps on keeping on. That's what I said Joey Thacker does in the 11th region. They keep on keeping on to the Lady Flyers. But right now, Anderson County is dominating this contest. Since our beginning, our business has been people and their financial well-being. It's evident in good times with decisions focused on the long term and crucial when circumstances become difficult. That continued emphasis on people, our advisors, associates, clients, and communities, gives us purpose, strength, and a way forward, today and always. Lady Flyers will get the ball back here, trying to climb out of a Big time hole, 41-19 Lady Bearcats, the eighth region defending champion who won that hard fought three point victory in the first round of the Sweet 16 at Rupp Arena over this Franklin County bunch. And Franklin County was hoping to exact some revenge and right now Anderson County is uh, doing what they did and then some great take by Patience Laster. Right hand dribble, a little hesitation and put it up off glass. Good move there. She has seven points. And that's going to be a carry turnover, Anderson County. We'll give the point guard duties over to Carter. This 2 3 zone has been really good all night. Try to get some motion out of it. But they extend it fine, and now they have found that little gap there. Laster can't finish. Chambers rebound. It won't go. Loose ball chased down there from Kennedy. Now nearly a turnover. Miles tried to skip it down in there to Chambers, stolen away. to Carter, she takes the three, Chester doesn't hit. Laster stayed back in the paint, said if you want to take it, take it. Jason Chester couldn't find the mark. Kick out. That was a nice penetration and give by Carter, but again, just no buckets available. Nice pass, layup, good. 
And that is a great job of running the floor by Jenkins. And I did not see who got that assist, but that was an outstanding pass on a little secondary break there, sort of, for the Bearcats. Inbounds to Laster, and she'll draw the foul on Chesser. I think that might have been Sophie Smith that made the pass to the cutting Jenkins. And, and I, again, I have to tell you, calling games for 30 years now as I've done, I've done some crazy stuff. But when I can only see the one shot, a lot of times it's hard for me to tell numbers being uh, a man of 50 now. <laughs> but... Uh, um, I'll try to make sure to get the Anderson Kane numbers a little hard to see uh, for me uh, right now, but uh, if I got one wrong, I apologize, but we're trying to uh, do what we can, and Anderson County is just, uh, the whole team has just played so well. There's a nice little hesitation move by Jenkins to the rim through the foul. I think Joey Thacker is probably going to be upset that he, that maybe he felt like the Jenkins got away with a carry on the hesitation, whatever the scenario it was. See that little carry there after the hesitation, that's going to be a reach in on Miles, I believe, and that could be four on Brooklyn. Jenkins misses the free throw. Wells will come back into the game here for Franklin County. And back here and his staff just trying to find some combination that's going to work. Miles, nice pass from the top of the key down to last year. Miss got her own rebound and puts it up and in. Patience last year now with four field goals, nine points right at her season average. The lead is now under 20. Three's off from Mark Smith, gets the weak side rebound. Jenkins, three ball. It's no good. Extending the zone, trying to pass over the top. That was a bad look, but right to Wells, who is fouled. Oh, oh. Looks like they call a we call a foul on Franklin County? Whatever it was, the 2 2 1 press now as Anderson County got possession of the ball. Franklin County trying to extend their defense and nearly a kick by Chambers there. And I was told by the truck that that was a travel on Wells. Thank you all very much. Need some extra eyes and ears. Nice play. I mean, that's just textbook offensive basketball. They're running the cut. Jenkins, who's having a huge night, but uh, you've got to credit the entire Anderson County team and what Clay Burbles has done with their, uh, their game plan. They are just executing flawlessly right now. Corner. Shot up off glass and good. Good take by Kennedy for Franklin County, her first basket. He's averaging 11 points per game. Miles averaging 18 points per game, and she's setting on three right now for Lady Flyers. Step back, Jenkins thought about it. Now we'll put it on the floor to the rim. Can't finish. Miles rebounds and pushes. Two on three. Has her shot blocked. That was swatted out of there by Tiffany Riley. I believe Riley's going to, I think she's committed to go to Asbury, I recall. There's a lot of college talent on the floor for both of these teams. A lot of these ladies will play at the next level. That young lady right there already getting looks from Power Five conferences, and we can see why. She's having a big night. Timeout on the floor. Uh, late in the third quarter, it is a 19-point lead for the Bearcats of Anderson County. Game of the Week is brought to you by Whitehead Hancock. 
Whitehead Hancock Plumbing has been serving Frankfurt families for more than 100 years. You can trust Whitehead Hancock for all of your plumbing, heating, cooling, and septic needs. Call them today at 502-227-2213 for 24-hour emergency service or visit their website at whiteheadhancock.com. Lady Flyers just trying to find something and and coaches in a lot of cases when you see a game like this, yes, you hope you can come back and dig yourself out of the hole late in, in this game and get a win. But if not, you know, what kind of fight are we gonna have? Good inbound play there, Wells gets it to Chambers for the bucket. But how are we gonna fight? Are we gonna are we gonna make it a game? Are we not gonna give up? We're we gonna try to work on something or or are we just gonna roll over and um, and, and, and let them just walk all over us. And I, I think what you're seeing right now is that, you know, got it just kind of whittling away, just trying. And I know Joey Thacker in the back of his mind's thinking if we can get it to 14 or so here and early in the fourth quarter and maybe get a little run, we might shake them a bit. But this bunch uh, offensively has been unshakable tonight from Anderson County. Smith's going to back it out and reset now and hold for the last shot of the third quarter. Smith kick out. Chesser thought about the three, didn't take it to the paint. Shot blocked by Meade, gets it back. And step on the baseline or a foul? Ooh, they're going to call a foul there on the baseline. And I can't imagine that's going to make Joey Thacker happy. As you can tell, Meade is like, Meade? Jake? Call it on me. Six foot four, Jaden, Javen Mead. Smith, three. It'll count. I, they waved that one off too. I thought that one was well out of the hand. But they did not count it. So Franklin County dodges one there as it could have been an even larger deficit. But they'll go to the fourth quarter. Needing some work, 46-29, Anderson County with the lead, back with your fourth stanza in just a moment on the game of the week. Let your car keep you from making important plans. Take it to David Tolls Auto Pro, 515 Duncan Road and 1348 Versailles Road. If you're a big sports fan throughout Central Kentucky, and obviously if you're a Franklin County fan, uh, you probably have already heard, but some breaking news. Uh, a couple of were tip off tonight. Eddie James, who's the head football coach at Franklin County, of course, got the team to state finals and lost in a heartbreak in overtime to Boyle County had resigned and, and accepted the head coaching job at Fort Thomas Highlands, one of the biggest programs in the state, 23-time state champion. Uh, he's a Franklin County alum, and he changed his mind and had a change of heart. He's coming back to Franklin County, so if you did not know that, uh, that's some news uh, maybe to brighten your night if you're a Franklin County fan, because right now Anderson County is not doing anything to help your mood if you're uh, following the Lady Flyers. But uh, Eddie James will remain head coach at Franklin County. And I know that has made a lot of people happy. And, and quite frankly, when you look at what the Flyers football team has done with their program, uh, going to the state championship game this year, bringing in a group of freshmen this next year that were eighth grade state champions, uh, it is uh, the start of a dynasty, one might think, uh, on the east side of Franklin County. So welcome back home, Eddie. It was just a quick little, a quick little exodus. And, uh, Talk with him a, a little bit via text today, and I know he's a, he's a Franklin County and through and through. It was, it was a tough decision for him to consider taking the job. Now they're going to foul out front and meet against Chesser. But uh, Eddie James, um, he, he had to look inward, and his heart just said, I want to finish what I started at Franklin County. So I know a lot of people are happy about that. Um, and then one other bit of news for football is uh, the fans around here follow, of course, uh, a couple things. Um, Wondell Robinson entered the uh, transfer portal. A lot of speculation that he will transfer back close to home and wants to be around his family. And, of course, the University of Kentucky is where he originally committed. A lot of their fans are fired up. Louisville thinks they may have a shot. Western may have a shot. University of Cincinnati and Purdue. I've even heard a few people think that he may uh, pull that trigger. But uh, a lot of Kentucky fans hoping, hoping that Wandale will go back to his original commitment and be a Kentucky Wildcat. Great take by Miles. Are they going to count that or is that going to be on the floor? 
Count the bucket. Nice take from Brooklyn Miles, her second field goal. So, uh, yeah, a lot of football in the news right now. Of course, a lot of the Anderson County folks remember Logan Woodside, who started his career as a Bearcat and then transferred to Franklin County. And he just finished up uh, the backup quarterback season for the Tennessee Titans, who lost a heartbreaker in the playoffs to uh, the Baltimore Ravens. But um, just a lot of big uh, sporting news around. Western Hills, uh, Mr. Baseball standout, JT Riddle, has signed with the Minnesota Twins. And, um, just uh, a lot of successful athletes from the Central Kentucky area. And it's uh, great to see. And a lot of times they've started right here, just like that take right there. As uh, just, a, again, a clinic. Rachel Satterley with the bucket there on the take. And it's a 50-32 lead for the Lady Bearcats of Anderson County. That's going to be a turnover, and goodness gracious. And I can promise you one thing, Franklin County will learn from this. Uh, as many of you have tuned in and watched over the years, we were fortunate to get to do some uh, really cool long-form videos with Franklin County as they made their run throughout the state tournament a couple of times. And um, Joey Thacker runs that program. He's a top-notch coach. He runs it like a college program, and he will take notes from this. He will use this, and uh, you'll see an improved team uh, after this. So, but between Chesser, Jenkins, and just the way the other guards have shared the basketball tonight, Anderson County looks like the real deal. Chambers misses. Laster had the rebound, poked out of there, and now up with it come Anderson County. And then a great look ahead. Unselfish bunch here. Ball finds the way into Chester, and she can't finish, but hustles for the rebound, and then she'll commit a foul. And that's a foul that coaches will take. That is an effort foul as Chester was trying to get the basketball and ran into Brooklyn Miles. Great effort there. Final five and change of this contest. And Anderson County's pretty much been in a 2-3 zone the entire night. And it has flustered and flummoxed Franklin County. It's shot no good over there by Kennedy. Out to Miles, he'll take a three. It's too strong. Smith gets the rebound and will just start directing the traffic and slow it down. And very content to run clock here. Clay Burbush was standing right behind the ball handler who then takes it in a nice reverse lay in there. Was that Riley? Tiffany Riley on the bounce, spread it out and then just made the reverse lay and then comes back down defensively to block the shot out of bounds attempted by Carter. Pretty good sequence there for 24 in red, Tiffany Riley. The reverse lay in then hustles back down and gets the block. Here's the take and shot blocks as Kennedy went up and now it's going to be a rebound there. Laster tried to tie up. I think that was Satterley maybe that she was trying to tie up and Satterley he fouled. Two, two, one press and handled easily from Anderson County, but then a deflection there by Carter into the hands of Laster and it went right back through the hands of Carter and Anderson County retained possession. And in right in the middle of the zone of the area there is an open Jenkins who draws the foul. But Franklin County had thought they had possession and then had a numbers game switch on them and nobody was in the middle of the floor. Jenkins was easily found, went to the rim, drew the foul. Out. I've got Jenkins with 23 points unofficially. Make it 24. She 
Kaminsky and Chester, as I said, have, have scored the majority of the points, but you've got to credit this entire Anderson County offense for just really executing flawlessly tonight. And just passed nearly stolen away, now into the middle of the paint. Miles shot blocked from behind by Riley, out of bounds, and it will stay with Franklin County. Quite the experience for me after uh, Miles off the back because Bear, the Bearcats didn't guard the inbounds. She threw it off the back, got it back, lost it. And now it's going to be a tie-up. Good effort from both teams as that was Kennedy battling there with Jenkins. What I was about to say before Miles made that play was this is, you know, these kids have gone through so much. The coaches, the teachers, parents, everybody has just done everything they can to to do the best they can. And my job's easy to sit here and call a game, but I've never done anything like this. I've got no noise, no crowd, looking at a computer just like you. It's pretty fun. It's interesting. Chambers on the take, no good. And if this is how we have to do basketball, Let's do it. I'm all for it. I just want to highlight these student athletes and and um, bring the action to you. As again, Anderson County just going to spread the floor, and that's going to be a reach in on Chambers. What Anderson County is doing now is, is showing tremendous patience with the big lead against this, this Flyer team and spreading the floor, but you notice they still, when they get a gap, will attack. They don't just sit back and pass it around and try to run clock. Yeah, they're trying to be deliberate, but Anderson County is still looking to score. Two three zone on the inbound and have to all the way back in the backcourt. Miles is trying to trap out front with whoever has the ball, and it's a good take by Smith to the rim. Sophie Smith, I have her with seven points. Chambers got behind the zone, kicked it right back out. Blaster, high post, tried to get it down to the cutting corner and threw it away. Timeout on the floor as, uh, I take that back, check that. Not a timeout on the floor as uh, Anderson County will go to their bench and uh, the uh, this starting five and, and you throw in a couple of the other folks that have come in. Sarah Phoenix played well. I know they've had uh, Lane Johnson in the game, a few others, but that starting five from Anderson County is as selfish a bunch as I've seen, at least in this contest tonight. They deserve a little break the final two minutes and Joey Thacker goes to his bench as well. Hey, and just like that, they go to the bench and uh, knock down a three. Anderson County is making a statement to the people throughout the state of Kentucky. You better look out. We could be dangerous again this year. Another turnover. Sixty-two, thirty-two. Never thought I would see this happen tonight. I thought we might have one that comes down to the wire, could even be going into extra periods, and instead, it's uh, just been a, a clinic. Sixty-four, thirty-two. Doubling up Franklin County are the Anderson County Lady Bearcats. Three off the mark was over the backboard, and will remain. Lady Bearcat basketball, or I should say turn over to Lady Cat basketball. So Friday, I believe it is, and if uh, the truck is, is uh, with me here, I think we have a seven o'clock tip Friday night. Is that correct, Frankfurt High and Western Hill? But you can tune in and watch. I'm sorry, can you tell me that again? 7.30 tip off, stream will start around seven. It will be only one game. If you're used to watching those double headers and we love bringing them to you, but uh, as you probably have heard, uh, read in the paper or heard throughout the community, Western Hills girls basketball team had a bit of a COVID outbreak. Five games got canceled. One of them, or postponed at least, was this coming game with Frankfurt High. 
So it will be a boys game only, 7.30 tip right here on Facebook Live or on Cable 10. We we'll hope you will tune in and watch that big rivalry matchup. And I'll be at home with you again. Staying home, staying safe, but yet getting to watch student athletes perform at a high level. This one's about to wrap up in, in shocking fashion, I think. To, even as I know we have many Bearcat fans uh, tuning in and watching. I think before the game, if you had asked anybody that follows either team, you would have expected this to be a very close game. And, and the way that Anderson County has just come in here and dismantled what Franklin County does, I think would be a shock to even the biggest Anderson County fan. But um, they have proven that uh, that 31-5 and record last year and the uh, moving to the second round of the state tournament was no fluke, even losing some seniors. Uh, this team is legit. And that's why they pass it so well. That shot didn't fall in final 10 seconds. Wells with the take. No good. And that will do it. Goodness gracious, 64-32, doubling up the Lady Flyers as Franklin County. We'll step away, come back, and wrap it up as uh, 2021 underway basketball season. COVID-19, we've had all the craziness, and this might be one of the crazier things I've seen in the last little bit as Anderson County goes on the road and gets a big win. Back to wrap it up in just a moment on the Game of the Week. Hello, my name is Greg with the State Tree Service, the name you know and trust. Over the past 60 years, the State Tree Service has become a name people know and trust in Central Kentucky. From tree removal, pruning, and stump grinding to debris cleanup, we are always available with our 24-7 emergency services. A safe tree service is licensed and insured, and our mission is to provide safe, quality tree care at a fair rate. Give us a call at 502-229-5258 or go online for a free quote. What was already a pretty empty gymnasium in Franklin County is clearing out uh, with the COVID-19 restrictions. Not many people can be there, but the fans over there in the red and blue have got to be ecstatic with what they've seen with an impressive performance to say the least by the Anderson County Lady Bearcats uh, in a game that was hyped throughout the state. Two teams that were picked in the top 10 of the state probably. They had a, that great matchup in the state tournament last year at Rupp Arena. Hard fought victory by three points by Anderson County. And I mean, it was pretty much after the first four minutes dominated by the Lady Bearcats to go on and double up and get the 64-32 win. As you roll through the highlights here, again, thank you so much for watching us. We understand how crazy it is. We all like to be in the gym. I'd like to be there. The crew, uh, whole crew would like to be in there. We know you as fans would like to be there. But we can't be. Yeah, the COVID restrictions just don't allow it. So we do what we do. Uh, we support these student athletes. We uh, get in front of our computers, our phones, or our televisions, and we watch. And we hope you've enjoyed watching it. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. From my home, uh, for the entire crew, especially I know David Columbia, Abby, everybody back at Cable 10 that makes this happen. You have no idea what it's like through technology to try to make something like this happen. They made it happen. Uh, be appreciative to what they bring to whether you're in our community of Frankfurt or you are out and about. Uh, top line coverage all the time and doing it in this pandemic in this way with these technology crazy times. They made it happen. Thank you all so much for allowing me to be a part of it. We'll see you Friday night for Frankfurt High Western Hills. Good night from wherever you may be. Good night from my house.